everyone. Welcome back. Uh, in this video, um, I'm just going to give you a um, uh, just doing a quick video here to show you what I mean whenever I talk about the um, Stratomatic book, whenever I talk about the uh, teams that Stratomatic release in the Diamond Gem set. Um, when you buy these sets, uh, Stratomatic will send you a uh, little book um, giving you little rundowns on all the teams. So one team which I'll show you right here at the top is uh, this is the um, book that came out with the 80s and 90s Diamond Gems uh, B set. Uh, there's always an A set and a B set. Um, this one is the B. And um, on the first page, we have a team that I'm very familiar with, the 1981 New York Yankees. Played many, many games with this team. And you can see it just gives you a uh, – Quick recap of the team, um, a little one or two paragraph um, review on what the team did. Uh, it has a list of all the players who have cards. So you see the pitchers, the catchers, the infielders, and the outfielders. And what I really like using is um, down here at the bottom uh, where we have the um, most frequently used lineups. You see here the lineup against lefties. We got Randolph leading off, Mumphrey, Winfield, Pinella, Jackson, Nettles, Watson, Cerrone, Dent. And then against righties, uh, pretty much everything stays the same except Oscar Gamble is inserted a DH for um, Lou Pinella. Uh, Dave Revering plays first base for Bob Watson. Um, and um, that is mainly what I use whenever I – do my tournament play. Um, like if anyone saw the video that I did on the um, 1980s American League Stratomatic tournament that I played, um, usually I stick with these lineups uh, the way they are um, in the book. Um, if I'm sitting down and playing, you know, with a friend or whatever, and we're playing like a best of three or a best of five series or whatever, then all bets are off. You know, I'll make up the lineup any way that I that we choose. Um, but um, this is what I have been referring to um, as my template whenever I look at the teams and I grade the teams and I do my analysis. You see it gives you the starting rotation and also very handy here when you play. You see on the bottom, um, it gives you the ballpark, uh, Yankee Stadium, 1981. It gives you the uh, ballpark effect singles. So you could see um, it's a very favorable ballpark for left-handed hitting because – a ballpark effect single on a D20 is 1 to 10. For a right-handed hitter, it's – or excuse me. For, for a left-handed hitter, it's 1 to 12. And for a right-handed hitter, it's 1 to 10. And the home runs, if you're a left-handed hitter, it's a 1 to 15 on a D20. And if you're a right-handed hitter and it's a ballpark effect home run, you're pretty much out of luck as you have to roll a 1 on a D20, or else it's just a fly ball out. Um, everything over here on the side, um, I don't really play um, like weather rankings or anything like that. I don't go that in depth. Um, I just use the ballpark effects for um, hits and home runs. But um, just to give you a little more insight on this particular set, we also have the 1982 Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, we've got the 1983 Baltimore Orioles, which is um, a team I'm doing, uh, working on a video right now. I'm doing a review on them. We got the 1984 Tigers, 85 Royals, let's see, 86 Red Sox, 87 Twins, who I just did a uh, review on. I just dropped that video. Um, and then we have the 1988 Dodgers. And then we move on to the 1990s where we have the 1990 Oakland A's, the 1991 Minnesota Twins, which I will do a review on um, when I could find a couple of missing cards. I'm missing a couple of players from this team for some reason. I probably mixed them up with another team. So, um, But this 91 Minnesota team was a really, really good Stratomatic team. And I am looking forward to doing that review. Um, I just – can't do it until I find these missing cards. But anyway, moving on, 1992 uh, Blue Jays are part of this set. 95 Indians, 96 Yankees, 
97 Marlins, 98 Astros, and 98 San Diego Padres. And um, you see, um, it gives you a brief rundown on what happened in the team season. You see the Padres lineups here versus lefties versus righties. So this is what I've been referring to whenever I mention the Stratomatic book in my team analysis uh, videos. So um, I just wanted to just go in depth and just give you a little brief description and um, show you what I meant whenever I talk about the Stratomatic book, uh, basically giving you the uh, team tendencies. It's a it's a very handy tool to have by your side when you are playing with teams from these different generations. Um, it's really handy to have things like team tendencies and regularly used lineups just to keep the integrity of the game solid. So um, anyway, but I uh, just wanted to do that video, just give you a uh, quick show on what I've been talking about by the Stratomac book. Uh, I thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you all down the road. Thank you very much.